Hello and welcome to this lesson focusing on the use of phases in Revit 2012. Phases is a very strong tool which enables you to describe or create drawings for the various stages within a renovation project. This drawing shows you an example of a ground floor uh, drawing of the existing conditions and within the same model we have a drawing of the outline and a drawing that combines the existing um, condition and the new construction of the outline proposal uh, and tells for instance a contractor which walls to demolish and which door holes to fill up. I'll quickly make a demonstration of uh, how to create a similar project or drawing. Go to the application menu, make a new project, and if you're not a VIA University College student, use the default metric template. With the default metric template, you should be able to follow along, but some of the graphic um, in the interface and also in the final drawing might look uh, different. Start out making a simple drawing in the ground floor plan or level one, looking uh, similar to this one with some external walls, a few internal or interior walls and a couple of doors and windows. The first thing you'll notice when drawing walls and doors and windows is that if you go to the properties of them, all of them will automatically as default be placed in the phase called new construction. So after having drawn your small house, mark all the elements and place them in the existing phase and apply that and instantly you notice that um, the graphic display of your drawing changes. The reason for that is that the view properties is set to, sorry, set to show all in the new construction. So we want to change that to existing as well. And now the drawing should look like it did before. Before starting to demolish, we would like to rename our ground floor plan and we'll call it existing and we will create two duplicates of that ground floor. We'll rename them and call them new construction or outline Call it number two, press F2, it's a bit faster when renaming, call it three, and this drawing we would like to be named show all. So far they look similar, but if we go and change the view properties of them, uh, in case of the outline, we would like to show complete for the new construction and apply that. And for the show all, it should be set to show all, but uh, for the face called new construction. To demonstrate um, what these view filters or face filters uh, does, uh, we will start demolishing or uh, change the existing condition. Before uh, starting to demolish, we just want to make sure that um, this wall is disallowed um, to join, so we get a nice corner here. Um, and there are different methods of demolishing. What you don't want to do is mark it and press it delete because that will uh, take it away from the model and will not be able to use the information uh, when, for instance, making the show all drawing for the detail design. So what you want to do is either go to manage and press demolish and click on the elements you want to demolish. 
I personally prefer to mark the element and go to my facing filters and tell it that the face demolish should be demolished in the new construction and apply that. So far you notice that in my view called existing it's still there but as soon as I jump to my outline it disappears. In a similar way I would like to demolish this wall and I could once again mark it and sorry mark it and go to uh, my face demolish and say it should be demolished in the new construction. Apply that and if I jump to my outline I'll notice that it also disappeared. The next step will be to draw a new wall which could be let's just say it's a brick wall I think that's what's been used in the rest of the project we'll place it here and we'll place a few internal doors um, maybe like this and one over here what we need to make sure is that when they are marked that they are new constructions. So we apply that, they disappear in the existing conditions um, but are now visible in the outline. And of course the changes could also have been drawn in the outline. Um, we'll just draw another wall. Um, I don't know what makes sense but divide this room and you'll notice that this wall will automatically be placed in new construction because the view is set to show new construction and it's not visible in the existing condition. I'll just delete this. The last thing we want to take a look at is the show all drawing. And here you will notice that um, all the demolished elements like this wall and the door inside of it as well as this door is now being dotted. You also notice that in the show all the existing conditions are just being drawn with a rough um, outline and only the new wall like this one um, and the new door is being um, drawn with a thicker line. You also notice that the door hole for the demolished door here is being hats uh, showing the uh, contractor that he needs to um, fill up the hole and do some repair work. In Denmark there's a tradition that um, the drawing looks a little bit different like this one. Uh, unfortunately it's not um, possible automatically to change it so we'll have to do a little bit of annotation using um, field region for instance diagonal hatch um, I think it's the one called diagonal one millimeter what is normally being shown is areas where you also need to do some repair work because this corner would not look nice after having demolished the wall so we'll finish this and we'll do something similar around this new door where they have to break a hole and we could maybe correct that a little bit as well as um, in this area um, the carpal so we'll also have to do some repair work. This was done very fast but I hope you um, get the point. If you want you could now put these views on a sheet and we could get a similar to drawing to the one I showed in the start. Okay, I'll end for now. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson and um, will use it in your renovation projects in the future. Goodbye for now.